did I end up here? My whole life, all its ups and downs, led me to this place. Far from home, far from anyone I know. A journey whose route is unknown. The destination, out of sight. Was this path just a random sequence of events that I had to follow? Or was there ever another way? Now, heading for the unknown, I can't really tell. Is this the end of the road? Or is it yet another branching? Welcome back, everybody. We are checking out a new game that I've kind of had on my radar for a little while now. Uh, this is the demo for the Ultimates. The game was absolutely gorgeous. Uh, supposed to release sometime in 20, sometime this year, hopefully 2024. Uh, looks like we just emerged from a escape pod of some type. That was a tough landing. Bolsky here. Do you read me? Anyone? We'll parachute off there. This is probably another escape pod. I need to figure out what happened. What kind of planet is this? It looks like. That's... And the water effects look absolutely gorgeous. Emergency flare from my capsule. I should look out for those. All right, so the flares are kind of pointing us out where capsules should be. I mean, it's all like heroes. You can really sprint. You read me. This is Jan Dolsky. A bunch of flares right through there. I've landed safely, but I think my capsule went astray. Were they all supposed to land the capsules? Maybe the radios. Was there a ship? That's uh, kind of curious here. Are they escape pods or did they get dropped off when they were supposed to land in these capsules? Looks like she died inside of it. Near, I don't get it. Near something. The ship didn't crash. They were they were dropped. They're like drop off. Mobile base. There it is. That's where they're supposed to go. Dolsky here. Anyone copy? If you can hear me, I've located the base. 
and try and get down there. I wonder if the storm Maybe they landed blew closer off to the drop-off point. I gotta keep moving. Yeah, I'm gonna say that the storm blew the drop pods off course. They were supposed to get dropped to that base. Probably some type of research mission. Definitely did not drop what they were supposed to. Uh, the capsules. Wait. Wait. What? No. That's impossible. They can't all be. They're all all gone. Yeah, this is something that Mexican is allowed to run super fast. You can hear yes. it. I hope someone else made it. Looks I need like to find the comms room and get help. Of, uh... Oh, is it? Okay, this is the airlock. Elevator. Uh, this is the command center. We got beer storage. Elevator. Up. All right, that is communication. Yeah, I wish communication was first. Hello? Hello, can anyone hear me? Mayday! Mayday, anyone? Uh, let's see, I'm not the captain. This is the new captain speaking. I, yeah, I, I'm here, but uh, I, I'm not the captain. I'm just a builder. Don Dolsky, corporate ID 4672B. The captain, the whole crew is gone. Hello? Can you get me out of here? Imminent danger. Short time remaining. Imminent danger. Time remaining. What danger? How much time? What do you mean? Remaining to what? Talk to me. What's the danger? The plan to rise up. I think it's the radiation that's causing this. Oh no, 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 
no, no, no, no. Don't you go all fuzzy on me. Lethal proximity. Oh, useless quantum nav system. Where the hell did it send us? Lethal proximity of what? Please, we need to go for some dark rooms. This way, we must escape. Proximity, dark days. You mean, you mean a, a star will come and, and burn this planet? And I, and I just have days to escape? Is that right? Sunrise. Oh, sunrise. Perfect. I need to Good. find those captain's logs. Cap. All right, General. Uh, in case of incident, jeopardizing your mission to the safety of the crew, please follow the safety protocol and move the base to a safe location. Okay, so we have to move the base. Uh, we need to refuel the base, manufacture necessary equipment, and secure food supplies. And it will be tracked in our HUD. Escape the sun. Follow instructions, prepare for the journey. Uh, have to find the evacuation procedure and get the hell out of this place. I don't know if the base is moving. Time, I'll burn to death. Um, gather six meals outside. I need to grab a scanner to find resources, but I don't have even have a workshop. Okay, star systems. Systems that's great. Quantum navigation. Do the art route planning. Okay. So, no, nothing there. Basic overview. See, we got a communication room, a quantum computer, small storage, airlock, command center, the captain's cabin, and machinery. We got small storage down here. We got an elevator here. Do a elevator here. Things a giant wheel. Looks like water reserves. Filters and storage. Six metals outside. Okay, so we're gonna have to go outside. We need to go back up. Airlock. Okay, so we cannot go outside right now. It's too. Can't go out during the day. We can only go out at night. We're gonna rest till the next day. sleep you get the longer you will remain fully effective the clock tells you at which hour you will run out of work energy without it you will be tired and work much slower if you're not asleep by the time all of your energy runs out you will collapse from exhaustion and wake up the next day oh boy okay well, we're gonna go ahead and sleep Okay, shallow deposit. Find shallow deposit on the Earth's surface. On the planet's surface, they contain limited amount of resources that can be extracted quickly. They can be recognized by red dust. Approach each deposit. Very right. Well, you can see how the base got here. It's still got its, uh...
base still has its parachute. So I think we got dropped off with the base actually. It landed where it was supposed to be. We did not. Hey, we got here. That looks like our ship's cargo drop. It's filled with the crew's personal items, including my stuff. Uh, hoodie, university hoodie, and trading card. Yeah, this is one of the things they told me to take on the mission. That seems very Things useless. that will make you feel comfortable far away from home. Objects that trigger good memories. Okay, we can't go up that way. Typical corporate bullshit. Not going any further that way. Face looks like a lot a bunch of cargo containers from the back side. I see more metals up there, but I don't see any way to get them. Anything else this way? More up there. Capacity of the base is cool and work cannot be finished. You can expand it by constructing an additional storage model and pensions. Possible discard. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna head back to the base.
Now we need to go to the command center. Where is command center? Right next to us. Okay, that's not what we want. We want this over here. Alright. Increase the size of your base. Okay, we're not going to do that. So we can place it any of these areas. We're going to need to build a workshop. We can do that. It's four by four. So build it next to the command room. Off the command center. I'm gonna put the workshop, I think. Right. That way we're already here. Baseball, okay. The scanner. Create an item you must get to work in the workshop queue. Okay. So we got it. building anything in the command center okay storage and energy exploration shallow deposit organics we're gonna be looking for some of those okay find or we don't have it is time we are going to go to sleep and we will find the organics. We're we gonna run out of time. This game is so beautiful already. The the fact that, that Right now, it does not. You know, it's, it's gonna look even better, I think.
We need to train this guy for suit storage. So the useless quantum nav system isn't that useless after all. We're gonna cramp this up in our suit storage. Where are you sending us? Except. Again, and select building mode. Put that right there. And now we need to place pilots. And right about there tells us how far we can go before pilot does work. back down. That's kind of nice that you can sprint and not have the pylon have to reselect it. So you can sprint and jump down. Okay. 
Well, let's go to the... Uh, One copy. I went out to find resources, and I found a cave full of something. I think it might be Rapidium. You hear me? I think I found Rapidium. You sure about shit? Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, what else could it be? Test it. Test the Rapidium? How would I do that? The blueprint provided. The womb. Oh, <laughs> gotta build a womb? The blueprint? The womb. You want me to build a womb? Some DNA provided. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, there was an answer you just didn't hear. The womb, huh? Okay. DNA sample, huh? I guess it makes sense. Rapidium speeds up organic growth. Fast travel, pilot scanning. <laughs> and we're going back down to the workshop. No, command center. Get stuck behind the glass. All right, here we go. Uh, so, gonna build an elevator up. I really want to go down. We're gonna build that right there, and we're gonna also build another small storage. Research fire. Okay, so this is tier one. Oh, it gets bigger. Oh, it gets bigger. Okay. So now we're going to go upstairs to the womb. Okay, so I have built a womb. Now, what could possibly come out of it? Here we go. Here goes. In a sample. Pidium. <laughs> I'm starting to worry this wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, of course. Cloning. <laughs> what else? Cheap. Uh, go figure. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Molly. Yeah, of course. All right, back down to communications. Call our unknown friend. Okay, I built the womb and uh, tested the rapidium. The DNA sample provided was a little surprising but it worked i think i cloned a sheep that was 
Hello? Can you hear me? I, I have a sheep on board. You're responsible for two lives now. Go. Man, it's amazing, isn't it? Where'd my cursor go? Amazing, isn't it? Or will you help me now? Yeah. Now that I'm a real hero, I could use some real assistance. You're in imminent danger. Oh, shit. Short time remaining. Oh, uh, respond to messenger and call. I know that. But I'm just a builder. I'm not trained to move the goddamn base all by myself. Great. down to machinery room. Okay, that's a radiation barrier. I'm a auto loop on. Okay. Five days. We have five days of filter. Oh boy. Now what do we have to do? To disable evacuation functionality manual. The quantum navigation system. Okay, we're gonna Sunrise in six days, we are screwed. Let's get back to work. Shallow 
like the hum of the uh, tower on that. There's another parachute up top there. I didn't notice that before. Hope we have enough metals to build that kitchen. If we have to build anything else, we're, we're in trouble. has to be attached to an elevator. Mush. Six more. Come on, computer. All right, so we're gonna go get some more organics, I guess. Alright, 
back to base. We are tired. You consume one meal each day. Meals can be part of the same plan. Six. Let's see here. All right, now we're going to go sleep. We are tired. Fuzzy. Sorted. Let's give it another go. Okay, this is not gonna go well. What? Not again. Okay, we'll try it one more time. Oh, that. Uh, you have got to be kidding me. Okay. Just my luck to be stuck in a junkyard. We're making a phone call. Hello, Earth. I'm screwed. Hey, you still there? I really need your help. I can't get out of here. I did everything according to the manual, but. There's a malfunction I can't fix. I just don't know how. Repeating the Xavier, I need to check data consistency and QC module. I don't have the access to the QC module. Only the captain has access codes to the quantum computer. Access Man, that was easy. Okay, so I'm the captain. I 
last great chance. So much detail she's leaving and you're trying to get her to stay. They get it, and what for? I'll make another call. Hey, I checked the quantum computer. Uh, what's next? <laughs> WTF. Mind records? What the hell are you doing with that data? It's got everything. My whole life exposed. No. No, I want answers. Use mind records for procedure. Shit. Okay. What do you want with it? Initiate branching. Branching? What exactly will be branching? Branching myself. What? You what? Is that your whole answer? No. <laughs> Alter her what? I alter what? Alter my life. Okay. My life? Okay. You mean as in? Okay, wait a minute. You're not suggesting I use Rapidium to create a someone and to alter their mind. That's uh, not what you're saying, right? All right, how about my other options? No other options. You jerk. I don't have other options, do I? Okay, so... Authorization, branching, unlock, procedure initiated. And light of life path. What? What is it doing? Is what the branching is about? Okay. Technician. Moving away. Staying at home. Moving away. All right. We're gonna alter.
time to wake up. Uh, hey, hey, hey there. Uh, wow. Um, hello, hello. Can can you hear me? Uh, I uh, what is this? Voice is slightly different. Where am I? Uh, you're in a lab. Focus on the simmer. Um. There's been uh, an emergency. Uh, the, the whole crew is dead. I, don't, I know this is abrupt, but I, I'll need you to focus. Oh, focus. Wait. Wait, why are you... What the fuck is going on here? In my head. Oh, why do I feel so weird? I think you're on some meds. What? What for? It's so you don't panic when you wake up. Why would I panic? Good. Copy. I'll... I'll explain later. Right now, let's check your mental condition, okay? Do you think you can, uh, introduce yourself? Sure. Can you? Well, this is gonna be awkward, um, because we're the same person, um, you're just a copy of me. Okay, uh, my name is Jan Dolsky. <laughs> yeah, sure. You got my looks, why not use my name too? So you think you're Jan Dolsky as well? What kind of bullshit is this? Hmm? What's your role on the mission? I'm a senior technician. Want to tell me what your role is? Imitating human crew members? Is this some kind of sick experiment? Because if it is, nobody warned me. Nobody warned me either. No. It's not an experiment. This is for real. And I'm for real. So, what's going on? Well, I got stranded in this base, and, um, well, I needed someone to help me move it. Because it got broken. Then, okay, this is the crazy part. I learned that there's this functionality of the quantum computer on board to, uh, well, create alternate versions of a person's life. What? It's Replicate a person. But with different experiences. Mind records. <laughs> if there's anyone in a bad mental condition in this room, it's definitely not me. The QC's only functionality is to navigate these junkets. I mean, theoretically, it could do other stuff, but such bullshit. I know. It's absurd. I thought the same, but here you are, right? Right. Do, 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 do. If I understand you correctly, you're telling me you're a alternate version of me with a different mind? Uh, it's actually the other way around, but... No. You're an alternate version of me. And, uh, you said we were stranded. Yes. It's just us. Like I said, there's a malfunction in the machinery. If you don't help me fix it soon, we're both gonna die. So, wait. Let me get this straight. This is not an experiment. I'm a different version of you. And you brought me to life to help fix a malfunction because there's no one else on board. What if there was no malfunction? Where would I be? Uh, you'd still exist somewhere. You'd still exist somewhere theoretically at least theoretically wow you bastard i can see now what the meds are for i can't even lash out at you <laughs> just this passiveness what am i look this is a lot, and we'll sort it out, I promise. 
Do you imagine waking up like that? Me, if we don't fix the machinery fast, we're gonna go in a very bad way, and you'll never get the chance to understand this properly. Experience your feelings without the meds. <sighs> yeah, I don't like this kind of pressure. Well, that. that makes two of us. Fine. I like that it shows what he's feeling over here. case I'd say don't touch anything here ever again but unfortunately this is a two-man job on my sign pull that lever over there just don't yank it like an idiot pull it gently ready one two three now yes <laughs> it worked you did it. We're gonna live. Let's get one thing straight. I did what you created me for. Now stay away from me. It's gonna be a long journey. All right, back to the command center. Automatically collect mining post and pylon. Okay, yes, collect. Switch. Okay, so he's feeling gloom and he's anxious. No rage, no injures, no hunger. Uh, it's pissed off at me. He looks really angry. That's great. Providing food. We're definitely gonna have to be checking that stuff. Okay. See if we can make another phone call. No new messages. He's offline. Okay. See if we can talk to him. Hey there. I said, don't come near me. I under okay. I understand you're angry, Bill. I get help. it. You're angry. I, I would be too. But I could really use your help. You know, if we manage to get the comms room running properly, we'd probably be able to get out of here faster. Stop pretending you have any idea how I feel. I don't give a damn about your comms room. We're moving, aren't we? Now get out of my face, creep. Uh, You're pissed off at me now, but deep down, we both know you do the same thing. Really? You said it yourself. 
We might look alike, but we're different. Like oil and water, if you ask me, and they don't mix well. Maybe, but we're in this together. Mm. Passive? Jerk. Passive? Maybe. But you won't last long without me, just as oh, I could jerk. make it without you. In a situation like this, hiding in a trench is just plain stupid. I'll tell you why it's stupid. Listening to someone who created you because he needs a fucking tool. Why don't you get yourself a repair kit and fix your own shit? I'm done doing your dirty work. Oh, man, I don't know how to get that. Craft a repair kit. Man, I don't figure out how to get along. Oh, we can still get, I think we're still gonna be able to get along. It's just gonna be. Oh, I like how it tells you where you are. Mr. Dalski? Yeah, yes, I'm 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 here. Are you okay? Uh I'm okay, I guess. Far from that. Are you serious? I just had a choice to either die in pain or duplicate and edit myself. I'm far from okay. It's uh called branching. The duplicating and editing thing. I need to know if you pulled it off. Really? And I need to know who I'm talking to. I didn't catch your name. Oh, oh Lucas right. Pena, Space Traffic Control, Orbital Substation L7. Now, the branching. Did you do it? How can you be so calm about it? How can you be so calm about it? We do a lot of crisis management here at STC. We need cool heads. But you reported finding Rapidium. That's exciting, actually. Oh boy. Uh, uh what's what went wrong with landing? What the hell happened out there? What went wrong with the landing? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I'm still analyzing telemetry data from your flight, but it seems something went very wrong. <laughs> no kidding. No kidding. <laughs> yeah. We know there was a major system malfunction, but the reasons are unclear. It's too early to tell. We need more data. Uh... You're gonna get me out of here? So, you're getting me out of here, right? You know how to do it. Safely. Sure. First thing I'll need you to do is to transport the base to a safe and accessible destination. I'll dispatch the coordinates to you. Second thing... Do you think I could see this altar of yours? We're not gonna. That's not a good idea. He's pissed off at me, won't cooperate. Then we have a problem. He won't manage without his help. The base needs more hands on deck. There should be a way to gain his trust. Sh show him you care. Maybe? Yeah, I don't know about that. I told him I wouldn't survive without him. Yeah, that's just words. Maybe you should share something. What? Why? I don't know. Just a thought. My grandma used to say, sharing is caring. Yay. Let me think. What can I share with him? My playlist? Yeah, true. 
Wait, suppose it's not about what you can share with him, but what you already do. Memories? Of course. Memories? I wonder if he remembers things the same way I do. Yeah. Mind records. See? You were so spooked by them, they could be a source of information. Fine. I'll check them out, see what happens. Shit, I, uh, gotta go now. Urgent call. I'll get back to you as soon as you reach your destination. Don't worry, you're in good hands. Not so sure. L7 out. Well, communication is restored. Okay, we can learn more about the altar by uh, checking the quantum computer. And we have coordinates we need to put in. Journey in progress. Can we? Oh. Wait. What's that? They don't. They don't connect. Sure, what we're supposed to do here. Okay, let's go here. That's where we where we alter. Visits. Cool again. Walking away. Starting anew. Ghosts from the past. Bad habit. Financial crisis. We both had a financial crisis. Seeing him again. Project Dolly. That's where everything changes. That's. The only, the only thing we have together is Project Dolly. We don't share any memories. I've been thinking about what you said. We have more in common than you think. Yeah. Like what? Growing up, for one thing. Plenty of embarrassing memories there. Oh, yeah. That's one word for it. Hey, did you have a crush on the Spanish teacher, too? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Don't even remind me. We were dumb kids then. What matters is what happened later. Yes. 
instead of dad. Maybe standing up to dad changed you. It's something I never did. Oh, really? And what did you do? Just stand and watch him take it out on mom? I thought about stepping in. I was always a, a heartbeat away from doing it, but when it came down to it, I'd just freeze. Guess I was afraid of making things worse. Yeah, I remember the feeling. But then I reached a breaking point. Looks like you didn't hang around long enough to reach yours. No. Uh... Or maybe I was a coward. Going to college was a good excuse to just get away from it all. Oh, so that's where our paths split. Did you shine out there? Were you best in class? What do you think? Huh? Yeah. The build around this merry-go-round. That's who I ended up being. I'm sorry to disappoint. Why would I be disappointed? Just proves I was right to stick with Mom. Wait, is Mom... Is she maybe still around, here? wish she was. She always knew what to do and how to cheer you up. Hey, when you were down or dad had just stormed out of the house, slamming the door and leaving you crying in your room, would she ask me to help her make pierogi? Her famous pierogi. <laughs> oh my god, I could really pig out on those. And making them together was fun. Fun. Yeah, wow, why don't we go for it? Why don't we try and make Mom's famous pierogi? Uh, no way we'd find the ingredients here. Um... That's coming in. Coolant and oil, beer and starch, grease and fungicide. Who said they have to be right? Beer and synthetic starch should work. Yeah. Hilarious. I can pull it off. You'll see. But there's one condition. You're eating them with me. If you die, I die. Why not? Won't change much, I guess. Oh, we're getting along a little better. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna make two pierogies. with an interstellar twist. What do you think? Oh. <clears throat> now I know how Mom must have felt. That day she had a terrible flu and I decided to cheer her up and make pierogi for her. <laughs> That's funny. Right. Yeah. I put like a ton of salt into the filling. And I overcooked them into a shapeless pulp. They were inedible. But... Remember what she did? Uh huh. She ate them all and never said a word. No, no, she said they were delicious. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So? They're delicious, man. <laughs> Shut the oh, fuck up. Oh, man, I don't know if I can along with the phone to myself. Well, we seem to get along better now. So, so, that's a, how do you feel? Great. A serving of dehydrated dumplings completely changed my outlook on the situation. 
I feel so optimistic about life now. Sarcasm. Look, I'm as freaked out as you are. Trust me, looking at you, talking to you, revisiting my life, we're in this together. You're freaked out. Imagine how I feel. Hating you, but on the other hand, if you didn't exist, you get the idea. And eating those fucking pierogi with you, I actually enjoyed it. So did I. Sharing these memories with you, knowing you understand me, that was kind of comforting. Are you getting mushy with me? Yes, what? they're definitely no. getting mushy. Okay, okay, just kidding. No, I'm guessing makeup no. I know what that. you mean. I'm just not the sentimental type. Who's being sentimental? All I said was... Alright, alright. Just tell me what the plan is. Oh. Corporation kind of got it in it. I'm in touch with this guy from STC, Lucas. He says Allied Corp is coming for us. They'll take care of everything. We just need to transport the base to our destination safely. So he knows about me? <sighs> he told me to create you. He was the one who instructed me to create you. I really don't like the way that sounds. So, what's gonna happen to me? You'll be fine. I promise. Oh yeah? And who are you to guarantee that, Yandolsky? The corporation doesn't give a shit about you or me. All they want is Rubidium. Maybe we should take I'll help you. But there's one more thing we need to get out of the way. What's that? I don't think I should be the only one. You don't mean... Yes, I do. This base is a resource-consuming, maintenance-heavy sucker to operate. And you'll need to create four versions of me. Versions of us. Versions of us both, you mean. Huh. That almost sounded like we're planning kids. You need to work on your cooking skills, though. <laughs> I was hoping I could avoid going through all that again. It was quite a struggle with you. Struggle? <laughs> one day you'll look back and realize I was the easy one. Mark my words. Oh, boy. All right, guys, thank you for watching the demo playthrough of the altars. Um, definitely, if you like this, add it to your wish list on Steam. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put a description down below uh, or a link to it in the description. Uh, this game is, looks like it's going to be absolutely amazing. And I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, as much as I enjoyed playing it. And uh, I look forward to the full release and uh, definitely playing it with you guys uh, once it comes out. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.